All right, guys, I want to make a quick video about what you need if you're going to get a turtle. I've had lots of people ask me questions about what do I need for my turtle tank, what do I need, you know, how to set it up, what types of things you need for lighting and heating. Well, depending on your species, you may or may not need a heater for the water. I don't need a heater for the water. The water temperature is good, plus my heat lamp heats it up a little bit. So no in-tank heater is often needed. You often don't need one of those. You do need proper filtration. I use a Fluval U4 over here, um, but they're great underwater filters. You want to have about twice the filtration rating of how much water you have, and you want to have a tank that is 10 gallons per inch that your turtle's going to be when he's an adult. So if your turtle's going to be an adult, be like uh, 10 inches, you're going to need a 100 gallon tank. And you want to buy the tank they're going to need up at first. Little turtles can be in big tanks, you know, out in the wild they're in huge lakes and everything. You don't have to get a small tank for when they're little because you think that, you know, they need a small tank. Thing you do need, just a couple rocks and stuff in the tank is fine, whatever. I used a little bit of sand for the bottom, some people use nothing on the bottom, it stays cleaner. But you do need a 100% dry basking area. Open mine up here so we can see in better. And as you can see, it's 100% dry. It has a little place for food too, and a ramp to get up. This has to be 100% dry. Those floating docks that don't quite, um, you know, they don't fully stay floating. They're a little bit submerged when the turtles go on them. Those aren't good because your turtle needs to be able to to be able to dry out 100%. So you need a dock that is going to stay 100% dry. This is a Penplex. I believe it was called like a turtle platform, and it works great for lighting. You need UVB. Stuff on top of my tank is for my birds over here. Feathers. You need a UVB light. Now you can accomplish this one or two ways. I have a UVB light on the left and then a heat light basking light on the right. This one on the left does not give off heat. There's other lights that provide both UVB and heat. And it's like one I'm using here. This is on my bearded dragon tank and that provides UVB and heat. And you could use that for turtles as well but you need UVB. I have tons of people saying that they don't have UVB or they didn't have UVB for a long time and their turtle's fine. Well, you're taking life off of your turtle. It's not good for them. They need UVB. So really the most important things is 100% dry basking area, UVB and heat light of a proper temperature. Set a thermometer in, there, thermometer in there and get it of the proper temperature. If it's too hot, you can raise your lights a little farther away. Not hot enough, lower your lights or get a or get a higher wattage light. 10 gallons per inch of adult turtle size and double filtration of the water size for your filter rating. And really that's about it. They're super easy to care for. They'll readily eat most uh, turtle pellet foods. And you can also feed them other things. They'll eat some insects, throw crickets in there, they'll go up and eat them. Some fruits and vegetables they'll eat as well. But basically they'll do fine just on that aquatic turtle food. So if you guys have any questions about turtles, send them my way in the comments. I'll try to give you an answer quickly there. And you know, they're pretty easy to care for. You just got to have your tank set up correctly. And one last thing about the lights. They should be replaced, the UVB light, every six to nine months. The uh, Even if the light keeps giving off light, it stops giving off good UVB after six to nine months. You need to replace that at minimum once a year, but preferably twice a year and uh, that'll keep the UVB good for them. So again, let me know about any questions. Happy pipe keeping. See you all later.